as we all respond to the changing situation with the coronavirus. An important aspect of our community response is to donate blood and to maintain our blood supplies at safe and reliable levels. This is especially important because every day our friends and our neighbors and our family members, our co-workers across the Pacific Northwest need blood in their fight against cancer, in their treatment for obstetric bleeding, in their recovery from a bleeding trauma, or as they receive a life-saving transplant. And without sufficient blood stocks, that care simply can't be provided. And so our need here in the Pacific Northwest is for 1,000 persons to walk through the door of a community blood center or to come into a blood mobile or a blood drive and to donate. And we encourage everybody to think about this as part of your own emergency preparedness, how you help the community stock up the blood supply so that we can care for patients who need it today and throughout the coming weeks. In addition, we urge our community partners who host blood drives, schools and businesses, municipalities and others, to maintain those drives and to uh, redouble your efforts to fill those drive schedules and get your students, get your employees, get your colleagues to turn out and to donate blood. With me here today is Dr. Kirsten Elkhorn from Bloodworks Northwest to talk a bit about the safety and the need for blood donation. Thanks, Kurt. I think coronavirus is really pushing our community to understand uh, its needs for blood donation to be ongoing and to be maintained so that we can address new challenges as they come along. This week it's the coronavirus and we want to make sure that everybody in the community knows that they can still donate. As long as they themselves are healthy and not under investigation for infection, they are well donors and we hope that they will come out and maintain that commitment to the community. When we have to limit our blood supply or when we have a limited blood supply and we have to think about impacting patient care, it's a painful decision all the way around. Bloodworks is maintaining recommendations from CDC and our local public health officials for infection control and maintenance of a healthy environment. And we um, hope to see as many blood donors coming out, maintaining their appointments and making new appointments to maintain the blood supply to treat patients who are infected or all the other patients in our community who need blood for all the regular reasons that patients need blood. Thank you, Dr. Alcorn, for joining me today and for the information. And we commit to providing additional information as the situation updates to the community and to our community partners about the need to give blood and the state of our blood supply. Thank you.